Okay, um, I'm going to show you guys um, how I found how I finally fixed um, a shift problem on my 4L80E um, to where when it would upshift into third gear from second, um, it would apply the clutches, release them, and then reapply them. Um, and this would result in just jerky behavior sometimes, but not others. It would happen at certain throttle positions, basically. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you how I stumbled upon a fix here um, and basically it involves using a value that came from the factory as far as um, the difference between your upshift and your downshift tables um, and you're gonna go into your transmission tab and under normal or whatever position you're having your problem in whether it's normal performance whatever and once that opens up you're going to take your 3-2 downshift, copy it, and go to your 2-3, right click on it, hit paste special, and subtract that value from that whole row. And this is what you're left with, this 2, two five, whatever. Um, that's your difference in your miles per hour in your speeds. You're going to take this and copy it. Um, you're going to go back and open up, say, your file that um, that you may be having trouble with. Uh, let's see here. We'll pick one of these here uh, and see. And what we're going to do, keep in mind that we need to know this 2225 and so on and so forth difference here. Um, because what we're going to end up doing, we're going to say, go into our, our file that's having the problem. And see, I've got my my two to three, twenty, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, and so on. Um, and my downshift would is set to normally where you you know have it set by just doing your shift tables custom. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this two to three, and we're gonna copy it, paste it here, so that both rows are the same. We're going to go grab our difference row, this 2223 or 2225. Right click on here, paste special, and subtract it. And this leaves us with a good difference. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to be in the range that the computer is going to allow for whatever reason. And that right there is going to, should, should yield a good result and a good shift. Um, and then you can just go on, tune in your your tables just the way you normally would but you do have to have that that exact difference you know that two miles per hour in the first cell and two in the second and five in the third and so on and so forth otherwise you're going to get that strange behavior